Iron bars have played a pivotal role in human history, shaping civilizations and revolutionizing industries. From the towering skyscrapers that define modern cityscapes to the humble reinforcement in concrete structures, iron bars are an integral part of our daily lives. But have you ever wondered how these essential components are made, what types exist, and how they serve various purposes? In this video, we'll take an in-depth look at the fascinating journey of iron bars, exploring their production process, the different types available, and their diverse applications. Welcome to the History of Simple Things, where we delve into the fascinating history behind the little things that shape our world. The production of iron bars begins with the extraction of iron ore from the earth. Iron ore, primarily composed of iron oxides, is mined from quarries or extracted through underground mining. Once collected, the ore is transported to processing facilities where it undergoes a series of steps to transform into raw iron. This process starts with crushing and grinding the ore into smaller particles, followed by concentration techniques to remove impurities and increase the iron content. Next, the concentrated ore is introduced into a blast furnace, a massive structure designed to extract pure iron. Inside the furnace, the iron ore is combined with coke, a carbon-rich fuel, and limestone, which acts as a flux to remove impurities. When heated to extreme temperatures, up to 2,200 degrees Fahrenheit, a chemical reaction occurs, reducing the iron oxide to molten iron while the limestone forms slag, which is discarded. The molten iron, known as pig iron, is tapped from the furnace and either cast into molds or transported to steelmaking facilities for further refinement. For iron bars, the molten iron or steel is processed through a method called casting, where it is poured into molds to form billets or ingots. These semi-finished products are then subjected to rolling, where they are heated to high temperatures and pass through rollers to achieve the desired bar shapes. Rolling mills are equipped with machinery to produce various profiles, including flat bars, round bars, and square bars, depending on the end use. After rolling, the bars are cooled and inspected for quality before being cut to specific lengths. Iron bars are not a one-size-fits-all material. Their characteristics and shapes are tailored to specific applications, making them available in a variety of types. One of the most common types is the mild steel bar, also known as MS bar. Made primarily of low-carbon steel, these bars are highly malleable and easy to work with, making them a favorite for construction and manufacturing. Another popular type is the TMT bar, or thermo-mechanically treated bar. These bars undergo a specialized heat treatment process that gives them a combination of high strength and flexibility. TMT bars are widely used in reinforced concrete construction due to their ability to withstand high tensile stress while resisting seismic forces, making them an essential component in earthquake-prone regions. For decorative or structural applications, wrought iron bars are often used. These bars are known for their durability and corrosion resistance, making them ideal for outdoor railings, gates, and furniture. On the other hand, cast iron bars produced by casting molten iron are preferred for applications requiring excellent compressive strength, such as in heavy machinery and industrial tools. Additionally, there are stainless steel bars, which are prized for their resistance to rust and attractive finish. These bars are commonly used in industries like food processing, medical equipment, and architecture, where aesthetics and hygiene are crucial. Lastly, flat bars, round bars, and square bars are categorized based on their cross-sectional shapes, offering versatility for different structural and mechanical uses. The versatility of iron bars is reflected in their wide range of applications. In the construction industry, iron bars are the backbone of reinforced concrete, 
ensuring the structural integrity of buildings, bridges, and highways. TMT bars, in particular, are essential for high-rise buildings and infrastructure projects as their strength and flexibility make them ideal for withstanding heavy loads and dynamic forces. Iron bars are also heavily used in manufacturing. Round bars, for instance, are employed in machining processes to create components for automotive parts, machinery, and tools. Flat bars are another versatile product, often used in the fabrication of frames, brackets, and supports. The ability to cut, weld, and shape these bars makes them a staple material for engineers and craftsmen. In addition to structural uses, iron bars have a significant presence in the decorative and artistic fields. Wrought iron bars, for example, are used to craft intricate railings, fences, and furniture. Their aesthetic appeal, combined with durability, has made them a favorite choice for both traditional and modern designs. Cast iron bars, on the other hand, are used in applications requiring stability and strength, such as in the bases of heavy equipment and industrial machinery. In transportation, iron bars play a crucial role as well. Steel bars are used in the production of railway tracks, shipbuilding, and even aerospace components. Their ability to endure extreme conditions and provide long-lasting performance makes them indispensable in these sectors. As industries worldwide strive for sustainability, the production of iron bars is no exception. Manufacturers are adopting practices to reduce their carbon footprint, such as recycling scrap iron and steel. In fact, a significant percentage of modern iron bars are made from recycled materials, reducing the need for raw ore extraction. Advanced technologies, like electric arc furnaces, are also being employed to minimize energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions during the manufacturing process. Additionally, researchers are exploring the use of alternative materials and eco-friendly coatings to enhance the longevity and recyclability of iron bars. These efforts not only contribute to environmental conservation, but also align with the global demand for sustainable infrastructure development. Iron bars may seem like a mundane material, but their impact on our world is profound. From the massive bridges that connect distant places to the intricate railings that adorn our homes, these versatile bars are a testament to human ingenuity and industrial progress. Understanding their production process, the variety of types available, and their countless applications allows us to appreciate the vital role they play in shaping our modern world. So the next time you see a towering skyscraper or a beautifully crafted gate, Remember the humble iron bar behind it all. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.